has hey, so a very quick tip how to model this kind of yeah, cutout shape, especially when you like Mac modeling and to give them some yeah, really cool kind of organic and you want to break up yeah, your boxy shapes. So let's just start here super simple. So I've just created here this curve of yeah, roughly this main body here. And then I have just extruded that. And now we just want to give here some chamfer and just break it up a little bit and just add some really uh, nice looking shapes. So what I will do, for example, is I will just select this edge here and give it a nice little chamfer. So you can also here adjust uh, the angle. And now what I want to do is, now I want that this chamfer goes kind of downwards, but I want it smoothly and really cool connect to the whole body. But you see, we have here a lot of break. So yeah, we can't just let me show. So I could here give something, uh, do something like that. But you see, this looks again, very boxy and we just don't have a very cool, interesting uh, shape. So what we can do instead is you just add a chamfer here and give it a little bit of an angle or whatever. And now we go to the top view and now I will just create a line and so shift A and I will just yeah create an angle something like that so obviously you have to experiment a lot around and now I will just select this curve and with SS just extrude it so it will cover our whole body and now I will press E for extrude and with tap I will just create here this uh, sheet so something like that and now we have this uh, sheet but first of all I only want the bottom, so I will select the edge and I will just extrude it uh, downward so we will cover our whole body. And now comes the really cool thing in plasticity. So you can press 3, select this face mode, and now if you press Shift S, you can subdivide or raise degree of the surface. So you have those four points. So you can also press Shift S again and you get even more points. But I just want to show you so that we have those uh, four points. And now we literally can just work as it would be a polygon. So if I press one, I can select this point, uh, this point. And now you see, I can with G just start to shape um, the shape here as I want. And you can create really cool shapes. And obviously you have to experiment a lot, but once you have something like that, you can press tab, you select main body, shift click the sheet, press Q and right click. And now you can just select this little point here and you just have now a straight chamfer. So now, uh, yeah, we see the points. So not to see them, you just select this uh, body and press F and toggle points. So obviously put it on a, um, a shortcut so toggle points and now you can just select this edge and give it a nice fillet and you see now you have this continuous organically shape i don't know how to call that but this very nice smooth details on your boxy shape right so now you can also just start so i will just make it super simple to give you some fillets and also if you then mirror it over you see you already created a very cool simple detail and obviously yeah you can do one million things so if you want to see more make modeling tutorials and quick tips uh, just write it in the comments see you bye